You're the next trine sign. All right, you're the next trine sign. So like I said, just like Gemini, you have energies that's going to be in your favor with Pluto and Pluto and Aquarius. But for the most part, you can end up having some of the most turbulence with this transit if you don't if you don't do better because you knew better and you're able to see things happening a little bit quicker than the other signs because you're in a trine, a trine perspective. So Libra, Sun, and Rising, this energy transiting your fifth. This energy is transiting your fifth. Yes, this energy is transiting your fifth house, Libra Sun Rises. Okay, yo, Libra Scorpio, Libra Scorpio Capricorn. Uh, excuse me, Libra Scorpio Sag Caps. I'm, 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 a, I'm, a, I'm gonna do ya. I'm gonna get right to it. No more side jokes. This energy third. Let's get right to it. Libra, you got this energy transiting your fifth house now. Libra Sun Rises. You already got Aquarius in your fifth house, so this is why a lot of times when it comes into your creative expression, it's more so welcomed out into spaces where people don't be knowing you, and whatnot. A lot of times, Libra Sun Rising, you may try to get people that you're close to, related to, uh, you know, to be a part of things that you're building from a creative space. And then you may realize it takes for you to be like, you know what, whatever, I'm going to go do it on my own. And then in the journey of doing things in a, crea a creative endeavor or whatnot, you start meeting people in that space and they start seeing your talent. They start wanting you to jump into expressing your talent even more. They start asking questions like, damn, don't nobody, anybody tell you close to your family, your friends that you're talented with this, that, that. You'd be like, not really. Yeah, they, they do, but not really. But then you once you start touching some of that fifth house energy and you start meeting other people and other elements, you know, experiencing different spaces and environments because of your fifth house, it's like, yo, what the flip? I am creative as hell, or I am hella good with this, this, and that, or I should have been working on this creative endeavor. I should have. Yes, you have you did your chart opposite. All right, you got Aquarius in the fifth house, and that's how that be working sometimes. Okay, now another thing about Aquarius fifth house is the Saturn rules. So sometimes Libra sun rises, you may restrict your own sense of expression because you could deal with a little bit of oh damn, I don't think I got all the resources I need. Damn, I don't think I got all the uh, I don't think I got what I the time frame to build this down the third. Uh, I don't all of that energy you can manifest that just because Saturn's ruling your fifth house, whether it's Aquarius, whether it's Capricorn, whether you have Saturn in that house. Okay, and remember, you a Saturn influence sign your damn self. <laughs> You're a Saturn influence sign your damn self, okay? So when it comes into the fifth house, it's very important to understand with the sun moving in here. What Remember, the sun is home in the fifth house. Debilitated in Aquarius, but home in the home in the fifth house. So now the sun comes in here, just came in here with, with Pluto. So this weekend, a lot of Libra sun rising may have realized, what's that one habit? What's that obstacle? What's that cycle that's keeping me from really blossoming from things dealing with my expression, my creative expression, how I want to be seen in the world, gaining attention for something that I'm building, crafting in some type of shape or form, all right? And we also know this house deals with the uh, healing the inner child. So, you know, with Pluto coming in here and we're talking about we're talking about uh, being disconnected from what fulfills the inner child. Pluto's also on a mission to understand what that is. And because it came in with the sun conjunction and the sun loves this house, that may have been very loud this weekend. A lot of you Libras may, a lot of Libra sunrise, and you like it's not me. A lot of us Libra sunrises uh, may have manifested situations like... Uh, a lot of us Libra sunrises, y'all was acting a fool today. A lot of Libra sunrises manifested situations this weekend where, you know, you might have had something, something that you're building that's in motion and you got a reminder of things from your past or you got a reminder of something that you know you don't want to connect to that could throw you off your game. And that's a little bit of a some somewhat of a you know warning sign you could take into the rest of Aquarius season in some type of shape or form. Right. You always say it's like, right. <laughs> You, this is things to keep in mind now. It's things to keep in mind. So, so now sun is in Aquarius in the fifth house. Just keep that in mind. Anything you hear from anybody about things dealing with your creative expression, you could be getting that information, that advice, that outlook from somebody you don't really know like that. Don't think just because it's somebody you don't really know is not, is not a word that you can trust. They just seeing things from a different light from people that already know you closely. Okay. It's also going to be a season where you could manifest some opportunities, being able, being more intentional about connecting with the 11th house through a fifth house space, right? Are you giving off something that's helping others heal their inner child? Are you expressing, are, are you doing that it, within your own personal life and not even have to be through a, a whole like 11th house manners, like being out in the world doing things through a business or a brand or platform? But are you able to be that source of you know, reigniting a connection with the inner child because you're doing it with yourself. And now you're being the example of that because your son is in the fifth house and people are seeing that from you, seeing how you're connected to something done with your creative endeavor in some type of shape or form, seeing how your behavior is attached to something that lights up the inner child in some type of shape or form. So y'all can manifest situations like this, opportunities like this is the air season, you're the trying sign, right? 
So we got that going on. But the, the huge thing here is understanding how much the 11th house be willing to receive your energy. So Libras, a lot of times you have to be very uh, intentional about like, you got to think about it, guys. I look at, look at me, look at me. I'm a Libra, right? I tell y'all all the time, like who I am here is who I've been. It's just that I just, I'm a Libra. So I know how to not take things that I knew about spirituality, metaphysics and the occult and secret societies. I knew how to keep that under the wraps in my personal life so I don't come off so intense to other people, right? And I've known this since middle school, high school, college. Once I started becoming more intentional, uh, you know, dealing with, you know, in, in my 20s about building my brand and or teaching about things with spirituality, then not only did I know it was going to have a certain effect on people in my personal life, but it got to a point I felt like, yo, I got to, man, forget everybody I'm personally connected to or knows me familiar with. I, and I never felt like I was trying to make them be into spirituality, make them be into astrology. But I knew I had to find my, I had to tap, go into the 11th house to find my tribe, to find my community. And that's a journey a lot of us have to do, have to manifest in our life in general. But it's that simple. You just see it through me. I was just telling somebody I'm very, I'm really close to the other day. Like, I don't even know if my church understand how much I appreciate them because everything we be talking about, I don't talk to. I don't get to have these conversations and interact with people like this in my personal life like that. All right. So I'm extremely grateful for y'all. And that's probably why my black ass be up here a long time. <laughs> that's my trauma. This is my trauma. It's my trauma showing right now. It's like, boy, okay, I know you love us. You ain't got nobody to holler at like this talk. This, 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 this I'm probably just realized that my damn self right now. All right. So y'all all spiritually inclined. This ain't nothing that's so different from you. Y'all know how when you on this path, relationships are heavily affected. Our social life is heavily affected. We can't date regularly. You can't, we can't even. Things our friends from child our childhood said we can't even like it's just we just too spiritual for all we too aware for our own good and sometimes we have to learn how to try to be regular a little bit in the world because of that <laughs> okay so with all that being said Libra Sun Risings I want you to make sure that you are being intentional about getting into that eleventh house because you're gonna start seeing like yo okay the eleventh house is mad receptive towards things that I want to push out crap and express in the world all right. Now, Pluto's coming into your fifth house. Libra Sun Rises, there's anything, traumas, insecurities holding you back from your creative expression. Libra Sun Rises, if you're too involved into things in your partnership life, trying to do things with other people, this stand the third, Pluto going to drive you crazy in the fifth house. There needs to be some type of individual intent that you are willing to, you're willing to sustain with something dealing with your creative endeavors, dealing uh, with how you want to express things uh caleb woods all right brother hold on brother let me just real quick i know i wasn't gonna pause this one yeah appreciate that play, brother appreciate that play brother okay so now that pluto's in the fifth house best believe pluto is like yo where the inner child where the how the connection with your inner child right now why you you know you know skating and or making art or making music or writing poetry or you know all this stuff ignite your inner child. What's going on? Why we don't do this no more? Pluto finna reignite that. All right. And once again, uh, what I was about to say, I was about to say, uh, uh, Libras, if you too consumed by things dealing with relationship activity from from a negative perspective, though, that is taking you away from being intentional about things from a creative perspective, Pluto can make your relationship activity very harsh. All right, it's gonna make that very intense, and you'll know you're finding yourself into alignment. You manifesting situations. Uh, you start manifesting uh, situations in your life where you you go through something in your relationship life, and your first instinct is like, you know what? I'm gonna just put my everything into my creativity. I'm gonna put everything into this business I want to build and express, or my my YouTube channel, or into this. Yeah, that's why Pluto had to manifest that intensity for you to have this natural react, uh, instinctual reaction to something. Okay, so it's things like that. It's things like that. There you go, Aqua Queen. Yes, my TikTok on been growing every Aqua Queen. Send me your TikTok, sister. Send it to me. Drop it in the, the comments, please. All right. So that's what we got going on. That's what we got going on with that. Uh okay. What what else we got going on in the, in the fifth house? Fun. 
We got fun, okay? Libra, you have to be wise with fun. You have to be wise with how other people that are encouraging fun and doing this and third in your life because you're the relatable one and you got Aquarius in here. So you have to be very uh, aware about how you associate yourself with people in the name of fun because the lack of intention, the lack of standing for something, the lack of understanding what you structured in your life, Libra, can create you know that little lenient nature for you to just fall into any activity with other people, okay? Especially if it's Aquarius people, like, yeah, I just met these people, this and this environment, these co-workers, hey, I'm going to go out this minute. And now you start overindulging in some type of shape or form. You got Pluto in the fifth house, okay? And it manifests in some catastrophic transformation because now you're just overindulging into the thoughts of activity of others, okay? So that's very important, okay? There needs to be some sense of long-term individual intent from a creative expression. And the more you're able to sustain that, oh, Pluto is going to help you transform a lot here. Pluto's going to help you transform a lot. And for those that's not no type beyond, for my Libras in here that I got that ain't really uh, quote unquote creatives or in any type of way, it's not nothing you're intentional about putting on the stage or expressing to the world in any type of shape or form. Your expression alone, your self expression alone is going to be challenged to be, uh, you know, for you to utilize that in a more wiser way. Okay. So let's say you're a Libra sun rising and you know you really good with communication, but you know you be using your communication skills to manipulate. You be using your communication skills to not be as direct and transparent and get what you want out of relationships in different type of ways. Pluto going to give you some bad karma for that. You're going to try to game the wrong chick. <laughs> You're going to try to game the wrong chick and things can get crazy. And the fifth house also has a strong influence on intimacy as well. Okay, so when we're talking about uh, Libra sun rising, Pluto man, transiting your fifth house and thinking that, you know, every connection y'all make, like just thinking that there's nothing sacred or significant or, or, or emotionally, mentally, spiritually lasting from interactions, from intimate interactions, then is you're gonna Pluto's gonna create more situations here too, right? You have one night stand with somebody or you, you, you got, you talk to somebody that's not a third just because you wanted to. Have them be the person you was just using their body to please your flesh in some type of shape or form, right? You just want to have fun. Fifth house, you just want to have fun. No, yeah, no, not no real relationship. I just want to have fun. Pluto, not really. Pluto's trying to evolve you out of that. Pluto's gonna try to evolve you out of that type of influence in this in in the fifth house. All right, okay. Almost wants you to feel like, yo, let's be more deserving of having fun. Let's work on more, you know, spiritual self development. Make sure our inner child is healed, and make sure our inner ch the, the 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 inner child that's feeling neglected. Is not going out as going out of his way to find different coping mechanisms because you're not connecting to it. Let's actually connect to it and fulfill it in that type of way. All right. So that's what we got going on, my Libra sun rising with that sun coming into Aquarius and that Pluto energy. Get them in there. You are the trying sign. So it's just so much opportunity to manifest with child being in the 11th house. Once again, another sign that wants to be all up in the 11th house right now. Okay. Moving on. Scorpio. Scorpio, the last 